G'day guys, thanks for joining me. Got a tip here inspired by, and literally all thanks to, producer MT Tracks, who's a subscriber of mine here. And he came up with a solution that could help a few of us out using Reaper and some of these plugins um, that aren't doing us too much fun from companies like Waves, that we, obviously we enjoy them, um, but they are creating a few issues. I'll give you an example with this one here. Opto thinks it's time to get a little retro. Pull this one up. I love what this this <laughs> plugin does. It just does some amazing cool things. But the reality is, in this particular case, I only wanted to use a mono portion of this plugin, um, obviously to save processing power and that kind of thing. But what it does is, when you start adjusting it, it throws the pan off, as we've talked about before. So what producer MT Tracks came up with is said, "Well, why don't you do this?" So what do we do? We pull up this little guy here. It's a good friend of mine, Big Solo. I can use him to spread width, but in this particular case, I want him to drop right back to mono. So the channel strip, as long as it's a mono channel strip, is going to be able to be heard in mono, and the processing still gets to be the same. Opto thinks it's time to get a little retro. See? Fantastic. Now, obviously, this is only going to work on a mono dedicated channel. Anything with any stereo stuff on it, it ain't going to work because it's all going to turn into mono and you're going to lose your perspective, right? But a very cool tip to help us get through, just chuck a little mono plug in right at the end of your chain. Bob's your uncle. You're away. Thanks for the tip, producer MT Tracks. Hey, if you guys like this video and you want to see some more of this kind of thing, absolutely give us a thumbs up, write us a comment, love to read that stuff. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done it already before. Cheers. Catch you soon.